Yeah, it's really important when working through, with staff through change that they have ownership of that change. They actually really um, are inspired by the why and they want to be part of that change. And in fact, that change isn't happening for change sake, it's purposeful change. And they can see that there's purposeful to it. We don't want to fall into the trap of initiativeitis where one initiative happens and then that's done and then something else comes along. Actually, that change is embedded and it's relevant. Um, and it's not, as I said, it's not just for change's sake and because somebody else is doing it. It actually relates to your community, your staff and for your students. Yeah, I think it's really important as leaders too um, to try and understand the fact that it, sometimes you can have an amazing idea and you can really look at a long-term goal where you want to get to but then be a little bit disheartened when perhaps things aren't going to plan. Um, but it's really important that the people around you have some ownership and some voice within that. And as a leader, while you, you have this great vision of where you'd like to go to, it's actually, it's a group, it's a team approach. And the fact that the other people might be able to have some really good influence and the fact that your project might change direction, and that's okay. And it's okay to the fact that you're gonna to have to let go of perhaps where it is that you wanted to get towards um, because it's the benefit of the team. And if people are really gonna take ownership of this and thrive within this change, then, then that's okay. In terms of our developing a learning sprint approach, we really uh, did it through learning ourselves, through going on the websites. One thing we've learned through all our changes, uh, to be able to sort of have an ecological approach to learning new ideas, to suit the needs of your school or your learners. We didn't want to be too rigid in what we were doing, we wanted to be quite fluid and be something that wasn't on top of, but just what we did in terms of our approach. So being able to learn ourselves through doing, through having success and through having failure has allowed us to adapt it to meet the needs of the learners and the teachers that we have here at St Thomas's. You put quite a big focus on developing capacity of our leaders as well, to move from the managerial role to the opportunity to lead staff and provide direction and growth for staff. Um, so working with middle leaders in the school to develop their leadership capacity, especially around to lead innovation, uh, where innovation is not necessarily a fixed product, it's, it's the thinking, it's thinking more intelligently um, about what it is that we want to move towards and, and more intelligently about what it is that the kids need. Um, so looking at innovation through that lens and, and developing them, those leaders to develop the capacity for others to grow and, and trial and fail and experience different innovative practices in their areas as well. So as leaders, if we go went back and started again, I guess a, a big uh, learning from us is around not focusing on the negative, like uh, there's that idea of a storming before the norming, like when you do change and when you do big change, there is going to be times where it's really, really uncomfortable. And as leaders, a lot of the time we focus on things that weren't going right, rather than being able to focus on what was going right. And that's really how those, the learning sprint approach uh, was born, because we tend to focus on oh, this person's not doing this or this isn't the way we wanted it to look, rather than being able to support our teachers uh, to adapt their learning and teaching, um, you know, in really short chunks. So as a leader, definitely a big learning is, is focusing on the positives. What is going really, really well? Because no matter what change goes on, there's always more positive than there are negatives. I think ever since I've been here, we've always had freedom to, to change, to innovate, try new things. Because it's always actually always been about the students and um, you know, the connected programs came about because there wasn't that engagement and we realised we need to change something, we need to collaborate, we need to get better um, and the learning sprints on top of that just help us obviously collaborate more because we're talking more but they help us make those small changes to make things better rather than, you know, just waiting a long time. Yeah, the key capability to be future ready is the capacity to continuously learn and to continuously improve, whether it's in a consistent context or a changing context, um, to continue to develop expertise in areas that really matter uh, for the future focused learning direction of the students. I think our, our agile approach uh, towards leading also comes around agile leadership. As senior leaders, you know, we're able to model an agile approach and we're really able to support the Agile uh, movement through the school within our teachers. Um, an example of that in ourselves is the fact that we've been able to design our own job descriptions to meet the needs of our students moving forward. They're not traditional um, job descriptions and responsibilities that have consistently been done. We've been agile, we've been responsive, we've looked at what the needs are, where do we want to move towards and created our roles and responsibilities to try and meet those needs.